So a while back, I posted about checking the air filters on these Chinese 196cc diesel engines like I have here on this cart and like I have over there on the Power Wheels Caterpillar dump truck uh, because they can get clogged with soot and it really reduces performance. You'll notice it starts smoking a whole lot more um, and kind of be down on power. Well, I had originally thought that all of this was because uh, that all of this come from where I was running a different exhaust at one point where a lot of soot was getting around the engine but somebody pointed something out to me that's super obvious now and i didn't even think of it at the time that uh using the decompression switch there to turn the engine off oh. can cause some of this soot in the air filter as well they say not to use that decompression switch here to cut off the engine But just like anything else, if you tell somebody they're not supposed to do something, they're probably gonna do it anyway. And you know, I've used that decompression switch to cut this engine off quite a few times. Um, usually I'll try to cut it off where you're supposed to over here at the actual throttle. But uh, sometimes I'll just get lazy or uh, for whatever reason, I use that switch. But I'm gonna show you why using this decompression switch can cause soot to get back in that air filter and reduce your performance over time. So it really just comes down to understanding how this decompression switch works. So let's get the cover off and look at what we're actually doing when we press that decompression switch. Let's try to save our gasket. Come on. Oh, we tore it already. Well, oh, well. All right, so if we look at the switch itself, that's a little cam there, and all it's doing is it's pushing on that intake valve. So it's just pushing it open to relieve that compression so you can start this thing. So you gotta think if this thing is running and then you all of a sudden open the intake valve, anything that's in that combustion chamber that uh, is burning or hasn't burnt yet is gonna be, is gonna have an open path up into your intake and into your air filter. So it's one of those things, if you wanna use it, you can use it, but just be aware of the consequences and that you might need to check your air filter a little more often to make sure it's clean. On this, I just have been going with no air filter. I mean, it's a $200 engine and I'm okay with it eating a little bit of dirt. But I hope that helps you understand what we're actually doing with that decompression switch a little better and some of the adverse effects of it. Now, if you know of any other reason why we shouldn't be using the decompression switch besides letting that dirty air back up into the intake, let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time.